embedded BIOS team. Mm-hmm. Like, there's, there he is, William. There's the Bobby. <laughs> hey, listen, don't you dare. You better eat that. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vin, that's Jordan, that's Pedro, together with you, Shot Realm Dynamic, joining us at home, watching us live, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. Gentlemen, I gotta ask you a question. We touched on this a little bit in the pre-show. We all get Android phones, something about Linux users. We run Android. Maybe it's the tinkering aspect. That could be it. The slightly more open nature of the platform. That's not always the case, though. I do know a couple Linux people who have who have iPhones. That are I not guess. from the company? They're TM? not from... Not from the company. Personally <laughs> bought. Just, okay. Yeah. Now, to that, I know a lot of Linux people with uh, iDevices. Not iDevices, but MacBooks and stuff like mm-hmm. that. You know. But when it comes to like tablets, when it comes to mobile devices, I've always just bought Android. Because I like playing around. I like installing different ROMs. I want to be able to root my own device. Install but with Fortnite. The, yeah. And something <laughs> you can do on any Android device is pick and choose your own keyboard. And traditionally, I think we were all were using the same Gboard, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Gboard's just heavy. I noticed that when I was updating it the other day. And it's like a hundred and something megs for a keyboard. It's a little slow at times, too. It like is. It, it's it, pop it, off. Like, yeah, or, or even when you're typing, it'll like take a second and be like, oh, did you mean these buttons? Mm. Like, no, that was, that was supposed to be a G, <laughs> not an H. Thank you. And even much. in Gboard, I've went through and I've disabled as much telemetry as I can and all the extra stuff and lookups. And, but I do like it. You know, it's got good swipe. That's what I want because I primarily use a tablet and I'm using it in landscape mode. So swiping makes more sense than trying to touch type across the screen. Like there's got to be something better. AOSP is pretty good. I like AOSP, and you'll be familiar with that if you get uh, ROMs. And you know, it, it's a good swipe keyboard. But I was trying to find an open source swipe keyboard. Mm-hmm. Doesn't exist. <laughs> it's, it's just not out there. I went all over F Droid, and I was looking around. <laughs> out of morbid curiosity, you know what I tried? Also, I didn't know it existed, but I also tried it. Um, do you know who makes a uh, Android keyboard that might catch you off guard? Microsoft. Damn it, Logitech. You got oh. it. Oh. <laughs> Boo. The Microsoft launcher is pretty good. <laughs> I know the launcher is pretty good. I never tried the keyboard, but the launcher is pretty good. I <laughs> was, I had to it, do an extra pass on it. I was like, oh, is this from like some sketchy site that it's like, oh, it's our Microsoft keyboard. I was like, no, this is from Microsoft. Okay. You know what? Pepsi challenge. Let me down. Pretty good keyboard. Pretty good what, keyboard. Is, does it, does it do anything like special or is it just like, no, it, good, it, good, it good pretty much has all the features of the, um, G board. Mm hmm. Except it's not 126 megabytes. <laughs> so like when you okay. hit it and the keyboard pop, it just pops up. It's pretty, so it's pretty snappy. It's, right. it's snappy. It's fast. It's customizable. I'm not, you know, and you're already shipping all of your data to Google. I'm like, here, Microsoft. It's been a while since I've given Microsoft some. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, the launcher is the exact same thing of going between, what's it called? Trebuchet, the, mm-hmm. uh, the default Android yeah, launcher, yeah. to uh, the Microsoft launcher. It's fast. It's really fast. Well, they got to do something <laughs> different, right? There's a lot of Android apps are just bloated these days because mm-hmm. it's Electron or whatever with <laughs> launching a webpage. So mm-hmm. there is my not recommendation, but <laughs> I just wanted to say that. Just get some feedback. If you know of a good open source keyboard with swipe, I don't need spell check. I don't need any of that, I, but I need swipe. Let me know. Hit me up in the comments. Jordan, what's up? Well, my motherboard arrived, and this time it was. I thought that was going to different all place. Parts. I forgot about the motherboard. And my mother like, oh, well, where's this going? Yeah. Yeah, no, I. I yeah, the, last week they sent me a, uh, a refurb one, and now Amazon sent me a uh, brand new one. So I have uh, that system set up we were talking about in the pre super shows and fucking around with uh, dual GPUs for 5600G. Uh, 5600G, yep. So I'm messing around with the dual GPU for uh, dedicated encode for Jellyfin and also have like a actual um, output card as well one one thing that always trips me up about those apu boards is like the you you expect like oh i'm gonna plug in the the video the pcie video card and the um and the integrated one will also be available no it's on auto so it shuts it off it it detects it. Mm-hmm. yeah which is like <laughs> annoying 
I, 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 I guess. I understand why that's default yeah. behavior, though, because dumb. Yeah. Yes, I, I, there, there's a lot of people who don't know about that. <laughs> oh, my favorite yes. picture, my favorite picture is when you see someone's like, oh, I just got the 4090, and they show the side pedal, and, and it's plugged it's, into it's plugged the into the, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, love it. Well, yeah, and, and the, the, the screw thing is on Linux, that setup still actually works, because you can right. do, like, display offloading, and that, ju- that yes. shit just fucking works through uh, through Prime. But, um, yeah, no, that's, it's, it's been set up for about a week now. It's past the stability test. Uh, what yeah. type of cooler you got on that? I just, I'm just using the uh, the stock. Uh, it's not the it's not the rate that's the stealth right now. Um, okay. Yeah, it, I mean it's it, it's. I got it's a little weird not having like a, you know, <laughs> yeah, like a two twelve or something on it. Yeah, I I, I need to I, I need to go buy the uh, the new backplate to put the two twelve on it. But like honestly, the the thermals are fine for what it is for what I'm using that box for. Yeah, it's a sixty five so, watt part. Yeah, yeah. So yep. it's, it's not it's I'm, it's not like I'm I'm really cranking it. It is. It is kind of weird though, because um, the old the I had I had a fan with a red LED on it on the on the two twelve. Mm. So it's weird. So like previously it was just glowing, and now it's not. And I'm like, is this thing on? Gonna lead into it. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh no, th- things are moving inside. It's on, but like, it's a bit of an adjustment. All right. Pedro has been posting random items. Pedro's getting into car customization and accessory shopping. To be fair, it was more making it look like it wasn't twelve years old, and it, this is how <laughs> I'm just the most recent addictions start. I mean, soon Pedro's car is going to be kitted out, and it's going to be oh, awesome. Oh man, like m- mega spoiler, just like oh, replace yeah. the engine with like a fucking shit on top. Of <laughs> He's going to have a stick on hood scoop. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It, it was basically I, the dash was in very poor condition, and I wanted to fix it, and I did. So I figured, you know what? Let's get a custom gear knob. Uh, and the uh, the boot for the gear stick as Did well. Did you get an eight with, ball or a twelve sided die? Uh, no, I got just the regular one that has uh, blue stitching that I'm matches the color of the car. I was going straight to anti <laughs> after that. <laughs> oh yeah, no, you gotta, you gotta get the the dildo, the penis gear shift, right? Like oh, the samurai sword, the samurai. Oh, sword. Oh, okay, oh, yeah, yeah. Right. The, the, the samurai sword. <laughs> or, yeah, or, no, uh, I did see the yeah, like the, the, the samurai the, sword the handles Men like black. Yeah, well, you know what? I imagine that, but I also um, I hear like Nori in the background going, "No." <laughs> Actually, she was uh, looking at some of the options. That's why we have the uh, uh, the floor mats have like the wavy lines, wavy blue lines, because Nori saw that's like, "Oh, that looks so good." Hey. How about how about a, how <laughs> we about got a stick it. shift that's just like a hand that you have to like hold the oh, hand that you can in hold order hands, to right? like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, try to hold hands with the horse. It's like the high five hands, <laughs> like. Well, I, I mean, the the, the 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 horse isn't super kosher. It doesn't have cloven hoofs, hoofs, but it is just a pile of jello. It's the steam. Yeah. So last week, um, we talked about uh, AI games getting silently banned off of Steam. Well, as it turns out, uh, Valve were working on it, but it's Valve, so they didn't tell anyone about it until the proverbial fuss was kicked, and everyone was covering it, and everyone was talking about it. So, yeah, no improvement there, but yes, they um, the news comes from Eurogamer.net, and they have um, basically the official reply from See, Valve. I was looking at this, this is why I was asking you guys about random games in the pre-show. Yeah, d- d- Dave the game? Yeah, alright, alright. Yeah. <laughs> what, what is Dave? <laughs> yeah, so basically they say we we know it's a constantly evolving tech and our goal is to not discourage the use of it on Steam. Instead, we're working through how to integrate it into our already existing policies. Stated plainly, our review process is a reflection of the current copyright law and policies, not an added layer of our opinion. As these laws and policies evolve over time, so will our process. Okay, cool. So uh, I, my, I'm glad that they're not actively uh, batting it outright. And my example of like you have the one indie dev and using AI to basically do everything that that one dev cannot is good. That's a very good idea. I mean, Don <laughs> came back with it. Like we're working on it, Joe. Like, yeah. And- the, the 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 question though is like how how is this verification process actually going to look because do, Manatees, do we, Jordan right, right. are are are, Who are we going to have the watchman right, are we going to have the computer monitor the AI integration yeah, yeah, the, the, steam the, gpt listen. 
The, the, the AI has confirmed that this AI has not produced any AI content that it does not have any rights for. Are, are you sure about that? I want mm-hmm. Steam GPT, which is disconnects right. if it detects the number, number right. uh, three or... Yeah. But like <laughs> you, you, you wonder like this, this is one of these things where like, will, will it necessitate a uh, human review? Because at some point you're going to look through the, this art and be will like, it? yes, will it receive it? Probably, probably not. Yeah. <laughs> no. So I, again, we're, we're, we're getting computers grading computers on the performance of computers. Yeah. It's, it's hey, man, totally going to end up well. It's silicon all the way down, man. <laughs> so we're talking about this in the pre-show a little bit and listen to that if you're a patron, uh, Gears, Gears of War. I, I completely missed out on that era of like uh, Call of Duty Bros. The Gears. You played the first Gears, right? Yeah, back on uh, the Xbox 360. I think the closest thing to any of that because it was a cover shooter. <laughs> and the only cover shooter they ever played to me, it was novel. If you listen like three years ago, I played uh, Vanquished from um, Platinum Games. I'm like, hey, this is kind of a neat mechanic. You know, it was IRL. That XKCD comic about playing games late. I'm like, yeah, this is kind of neat. I'm like that. That's already been over with. And it kept yeah. going pretty quick. Yeah. Uh, I was just going to say, I, I, re- I remember when Cover Shooters first came out, it was like Kill Switch on the PlayStation 2. And I remember like, oh, this is so cool. You can like blind fire and blah, blah, blah. And then every game started doing yeah. it. And that was like the yep. one that, that was how you played shooters. So the reason we bring this up Gears 5 now works out of the box if you have Proton GE 85 up and running. In fact, you need to do so little that if you've done some hacks previously, you need to make sure that you undo them. Yep. No cocking about required. Just click receive Gears 5. Now, I never got into Gears. Not at all. But this did raise a question. A couple other things in here. You know, they bumped the version VK D3D has been bumped. Wine's been bumped. And up, not down. And uh, Jordan, you said in, there was a hotfix for, uh, what was it? Uh, Final Fantasy uh, 14. Uh, the, one of the uh, intro quests got borked with the latest update. So uh, he pushed out uh, 8.6 and that just fixes that. Now, you might be watching, like, what is, uh, I know what Proton is, what's Proton GE? It's a Glorious Egg Rolls version. It's got its own custom spin on it. Sometimes, especially with, like, Media Foundation stuff, it's going to work with GE, where it might not work with traditional Proton or Proton Experimental or Proton yeah. Next or Proton Experimental Bleeding there, there, Valve. There, yeah, there, there's there's a lot more, there's a lot more hacks, there's a lot more, like, in-progress stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, some experimental features brought in from, like, Upstream Wine. It, it, uh, we're, 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 like, regular Proton is, like, trying to be a very, very stable, sturdy target. This is, it's like, all business, hey, man. Yeah, it's let, corporate let, Proton. <laughs> yep, let, let's just get all the, the hot new shit in and get shit working. Yeah. So. Pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, go check it out. There'll be a link in the download section. But this did raise the question. Um, you know, this was, you know, Gears 5. Why didn't it work? EAC, easy anti-cheat. But then EAC works under Linux. We all know that, including the game developers. But they even made a thing for uh, Proton where they could flip a switch. We also all know that, including the developers. However, here we are in 2023. How many games do we have left, especially like this deep into 2023, that are having problems? With EAC, and the only one that immediately came to mind was something that we, it, you know, it's in our wheelhouse for like after shows and Dead by Daylight. Remember that one day over the weekend where it worked mm-hmm. because they were experimenting with it? Then they went, oh shit, that went too well. <laughs> or Epic's like, here's some money, allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, the, like I, I, th- I think the, the big conversion was like Vermintide when they flipped that switch. Oh, they right. were like hardcore about like, no, we have to completely read, write the game, blah, blah, blah. And then they're like, <laughs> Oh yeah, we we turned it on and it worked. Huh. It is. Yeah, we turned it, it on and we put it in the right place this time. It is uh, fucking adorable watching um, the <laughs> developer, uh, game publisher, developer, PR person that is accustomed to talking to Windows users mm-hmm. with yeah. bullshit magic. Poof! Don't look behind the curtain. <laughs> and encounter the Linux community, and you're like, "What the fuck <laughs> out of here?" That's not how that works. Yeah, right. But yeah, that's, you know, that's nice that's try. Not how, <laughs> that's not how computer software works, man. Yeah. Uh, Pedro, uh, some games you could think of one, right? Yeah, that, I've actually played both of them. Although Two Worlds, that w- I was impressed with that because how bad is your game <laughs> that uh, it's taken this long to sort? But hey, uh, the APB reloaded fix that uh, basically it just integrates the um, the the fixes that you would do before, where you instead of running the launcher, you would run the actual game, but you'd need to run it through the runtime. Or you just went into an INI and disabled the Steam login entirely so the game wouldn't crash. Now you can just launch the game using G Proton without any of those fixes. So, very good. <laughs> Love to see it. Love to see it. 
Let's talk about some new games that came out and uh, <laughs> Woo, I, Metallica. Woo-hoo. I was joking about this. Uh, I always browse through the Steam. I mean, during the week, I'll check new and upcoming, see what's coming down the pipe. And I genuinely, I, I saw, you know, you mouse over and it gives you a little bit of the animation on the thumbnail, mm-hmm. right? Saw that and I'm like, oh, Lord, somebody is using the PlayStation 1 Unity shader that we talked about a couple of months ago because that's a thing that exists. Here's what we ended up with. Turns out, no. uh, <laughs> this is just straight up a PS1 game from back it in is? the day called Reloaded. Pedro, you knew about it. I, 1996, I looked it up and I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, no, and it's not the first time that this game has showed up on Steam either, because there's another one that came out in 2015, which just uses the PS1 ROM instead of being a proper port, uh, and you just play with that. This one also has a Linux version, so that's why we're talking about it. Yeah, it's reloaded, uh, the PS1 uh, follow-up to, yep, the uh, the follow-up to Loaded, which I actually played and I enjoyed very much, and that game just doesn't get remade, and people in the reviews are going... Yeah, I'd like to play Loaded, please. (laughs) People are never happy, man. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) So I, I I mean, I mean, looking looking at the uh, looking at the Wikipedia article for this, uh, scores for this back in the day uh, tapped out at four point six seven five out of ten because you know we're IGN, they love those decimal (laughs) points. And like, you got to wonder how with such memorable characters as Fub or Fat Ugly Boy and Cheb, a.k.a. Charming, Handsome, Irritate Bastard. Oh, man, that's... Listen, man, how dare you then? Leave my Edgelord 90s alone, all right? (laughs) Yeah, no, this is very much that game of, like, the edgy 90s. We're going to, you know, be shock value for shock value's sake. (gasps) <gasps> oh yeah, n- or, n- or at least what passes for it in modern day. You look at that, and you're like, oh, this is yeah. It's like it's, I remember. I remember as, as a teenager going back and listening to Kiss and being like, this is what people were upset about, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that, that <laughs> Kiss was yacht rock in like right, the nineties, yeah. man. You're like, all right, that's that's well, a Kiss yeah, song. all right, yeah. You well, got to put on some Chicago if you really want to. Yeah, <laughs> play play it backwards, right? <laughs> oh man, Chicago kicks ass. Uh, what do we? Oh man, this is. Uh, what was it? What was the name of the game? Fantasy Strike. Fantasy Strike. Yeah, it's time to d- 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 duel. It's uh, I-, I guess the people who made Fantasy Strike are obsessed with like trying to bring fighting game mechanics to other other genres and try to like m- bring that, make it so that like the head games are at the forefront and not the the comboing, which I appreciate. Which uh, brings us to Yomi Two, which is a card based fighting game where your deck is basically like punch, kick, block, special, so on and so forth. And you're doing, and you're, and you're playing against an opponent, basically just doing head games. Uh, uses the, it's by the same guys who did uh, Fantasy Strike. Uh, and one neat thing about this is it supports both online synchronous and asynchronous play. So you can actually like do this over a couple days. You can do like play by email type thing where like. Oh, you so do, you, you can, can make a move and immediately get on like email or instant messenger text and start pestering the other person. Yeah, to ex- hurry exactly. Up. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, absolutely. You're going to make a move? Hey, right? hey. Make, make a move. move. <laughs> Come on. I don't know. I, I like, I like that kind of stuff. I like having the option for that kind of stuff. I don't. So, uh, so yeah, this is, this is, this is pretty neat. It is coming. It is, it is out now, right? It's in, there's a demo. You can pick it up for about 32, 50. Uh, it's, in it's in early access. It's access. Yeah. early access. Yeah. 24 yeah, there, 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 online PVP. Demo, oh man, we can one view. You know what? To their credit. I mean, to me, I don't really keep track of card games. I try to avoid them, but like this, when he, when he says card fighting game, card fighting game, right? Yeah. Like does right. what it says Straight on the do you have any thoughts that is, it, uh, they already know. have the um, the character models and everything, and unfortunately, the internet deemed Fantasy Strike as not worthy. And by the inter- internet, you mean like the what the pro fighting community or what? <laughs> they're, they're, I mean, the people busy who actually care about fighting now. games, yes. <laughs> they're still pleasing those people. Yes, <laughs> but they, they clearly prob- have the ones they like. And you know what? Right they're probably now, excited about the new Mortal Kombat game. <laughs> no, no until one, they get no the one's excited about yes. Mortal, new Mortal Kombat. <laughs> After Mortal they Kombat play the playtest, they're still excited about it. Mm. Well, that's, uh, that's... <laughs> go, go, going going from three D three D cel shaded models to definitely not that uh, something that needs a moose in it. Indeed, <laughs> uh, this is a dark room. It is a text adventure story game. Um, that has a bit of a weird lineage, uh, cause the, this, this, co- the PC port comes from our good friend Icky Butts, 
who um also built- developers i want you to take note all right you don't take time to make <laughs> videos somebody took the time to make a video about a text adventure game all right yeah no excuses progress bar though <laughs> Some people uh, well, are never happy, Pedro. Have I brought that up? <laughs> I, so uh, the, 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 the progress bar is actually an interesting part of the game. Cause uh, there, so there is a free version of, of this. Uh, it's online. It's browser based. Um, you could, I, I put the link to it in the show notes. Uh, mechanically, it reminds me a lot of citizen sleeper, except using a real, uh, using a real time clock, as opposed to having everything based on a turn economy. It seems like a pretty fun book to play. But the interesting thing here is uh, what Ryan was saying that uh, they built it from scratch for the Nintendo Switch. They then took that framework and made a game engine from it, which they then added Steam integration to, which then allowed the original game to actually be exported to PC. So that's 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 pretty roundabout, but it goes to, it goes to show you, you should subscribe to Iculus's Patreon so that he can do insane stuff like this. Mm-hmm. You love seeing stuff like this, right? Like I probably never play the game, but I, like a good story and like it's got touch screen support you know because it does have that uh, switch dna so you can play it on your steam deck hey Mm -hmm. think about that keep that in mind and it has mod support so i know some of you are like man i'm really what what constitutes modding a text adventure game like replacing a sentence or replacing (laughs) an extra sentence (laughs) yeah (laughs) changing all the character names from like their uh, actual names to butt face oh dude is there like the grammar correction correction mod which goes back and like there's some dude who's no oh no it's it's the spell check mod that highlights all the spelling mistakes with red lines (gasps) it just puts the red squiggly (laughs) oh oh (laughs) right oh that's just to just to piss you off just to be that guy it's like, oh, no, now, now I see it. You spelled that word wrong. Now I see it. I can't not see it. We got one update. And speaking about things, if you want to piss yourself off, you might want to go play Hollow Knight and get Hollow Hard. Ben made DLC. This is what happens when you don't give addicts the drugs, kids. So we have, and this is so well done. All right. This is the Pale Court mod. Let me come down here to the video. You can get it up and running. We got a bunch of new stuff in this. Let me go ahead and bump that up a little bit. You get new charms, new music, new bosses. I think there's four, one, two, three, six. I can't count. And you get to go rack them. It's so well done. It's fan made. I'm happy to see this. I'm so glad they allow mod support. However, there's a little bit of a catch. That means you got to get it installed on Linux. Now, first thing you're thinking, this is going to be a wine adventure. And it's not. Uh, there's a scarab application which has a native linux build however you can't use the latest one or the one before that or the one before that you got to drill it down just a little bit further to get to 131.0 where there's not a bug in the application where it can't detect your installation of hollow knight and what's scarab it's a mod installer which apparently there's hundreds of mods for hollow knight i'm new to this community be gentle (laughs) and it downloads it installs it you can play it with a native version of hollow knight However, you might experience some graphical issues with uh, NVIDIA. I didn't test it on AMD, but if you do it the Proton route, everything's fine. And you can lose some time. I was never a fan of, I enjoyed the bosses in Hollow Knight. I did. That was always like a little bonus thing. I never came back to Hollow Knight to play more bosses, though. Out of, <laughs> out of my enjoyment of Hollow Knight, having to beat a boss was my least favorite part. So this doesn't appeal to me. So it was safe for me to get it set up. I wasn't worried at any point. I'm like, hey, that was good. And that's never touch it. But if you were a fan, you know, there's like Boss Rush D- DLC. That was like one of the yeah. packs. The uh, uh, what Godbound. It, I thought it was like the Champion, whatever it was called. Uh, either way, you know what we're talking about. Um, in the Coliseum, where you just fight again and again and again and again. Yeah. Love to see it. Very happy. Where's Silk Song? because i'm still <laughs> big I, i'm still bad can you imagine it's not even me can you imagine mothering like microsoft because microsoft went bad for team jerry i'm not uh, team jerry you got every right to release shit when it's done i fully respect that but you remember because there was that back and forth with silk song which is going to be the sequel to this to where somebody asked they're like well you say all of these games are during your showcase are going to be available in the next 12 months and they're like yes we can confirm that <laughs> and then they're like what about that um, yeah, Team, Team Cherry is just hanging out with George R. R. Martin. They're having some barbecues. They're they're playing some Monopoly, and yeah, they're having a good old time. They're doing their thing, man. Uh, so that's going to be available. Uh, I'm probably going to do a little video to get this thing set up because if you search on the internet about how to do this, you'll find posts from Reddit from two years ago with people trolling each other. 
without providing any of the information. And there's no direct <laughs> download link to this, so you got to know these steps to get it up and running. I might pop out a video on Monday for it, but that's going to wrap us up, I think. Indeed. Coming up next, NVIDIA and Intel are going to fight. Are Gordon Moore and Jensen going to get into a jujitsu match? I Ooh. really hope so. Let's do it. In other news, we get on to the news. Don't worry. We will uh, be talking about That's that. That's some bullshit. If we're going to news to news, should it be a continuation? <laughs> How dare you tie this noose around our neck, threatening to give the these noose? people news? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's better to tie the noose than drop the deuce. Maybe. I, 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 don't, I don't know. If you, if you tie the noose <laughs> and then you're, you're, na you're nasty, you may drop a deuce. Uh, but that, that, Wait, that's hang on. Is, is that like kind of tied a cherry with your tongue? If you can tie a noose with like a, your sphincter, <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe you swallow the cherry sock I, I without chewing. Well, yeah, you, 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 you swallow, <laughs> you swallow fifty feet of rope, and then you just poop out a noose. It's like a full body floss. <laughs> Yes, it, it's it's very cleansing. If you would like to subscribe to our health and wellness newsletter, head on over to patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. Subscribe and you can get the latest and greatest health tips straight from Gwyneth Paltrow's nightmares. You know uh, what, Jordan, <laughs> if you if you want to write a weekly health care newsletter, I'm all for it. Yeah, the worst information possible. This is bacon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Bit, just wrap, wrap yourself in bacon and lie out in the sun. Uh, yeah, <laughs> patreoncom slash Gamecast. Good stuff. Get in there. You can our, you can uh, get access to our Discord channel. You can also do that by subbing to us on Twitch, twitchtv slash Gamecast. Speaking of which, we got to thank PT Dave, Don M, and Basil for g giving us those Bezos bucks, or just the regular Twitch subs, and getting into that Discord, chatting with us. It's, it's a good time. You can RSVP to game streams as well. I'm in the middle of going through time portals with empty, but once we're done with that, eventually in the distant future, we're going to probably do like a lot of team elite or something or Baldur's gate. All right. You're we'll a bunch you're, of like a bunch of different games going on uh, during the week in discord. Uh, Cause they're playing. Uh, what deep is rock. it? Deep rock and some other game. Uh, they, they were doing deep rock and they were doing, they were doing borderlands a while ago. They were, they were going through borderlands too. Uh, um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, as we say, the like, gun games. I can't remember the name. Yeah, the, the, uh, the, the, uh, Gunfire Reborn. Gunfire. Was that that sounds familiar. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so so I mean, I mean, they're, they're, like beyond beyond us, just like streaming shit. Yeah, we have we have people in community just like jumping in games. If you want to join in, if you're just looking for people to play with, it's self organizing with. those people. It's horrifying. You never know. It, 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 by by self organizing, it's Patrick badgering people until they actually yeah, get into a room. <laughs> so, so game streams, check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I do track media. So if you're looking for something, you know, a little puzzle platforming, come hang out with us. Five p.m. on Tuesdays, seven thirty p.m. on uh, Fridays, and we're getting good. We're getting good. We're a collection of not youngsters, but hey, all ages. You're, you're, you're placing and like all the, ages. The... Yeah, I play. I, I want to place uh, Jordan in the uh, cup of the day. And Trek Mania 2020 on Friday. We do that in the after shows, and, mm -hmm. and that place Jordan was first. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, the, that that is a place. Scoring one for the old people, taking Maybe. all those uh, kids out. Speaking speaking of old people with disposable income, if you have some and you want to spend it, go to store.xgamecast.com. Uh, buy us some merch. We got T-shirts. We got stickers. Fanny packs. No fanny packs, but no uh, fanny we, packs. Got, we got hoodies. I got one, one, one day we'll have fanny like packs. Up. Uh, I do have a, a store.linuxgamecast.com. That takes a minute to get to. Yeah, but there, there's good merch. You can put me <laughs> in, in your cleavage. You you can uh, put a, a lovely blue hat sticker on your laptop because I know people obey. love <laughs> that. Is not putting that, stickers that on is called laptops. a bossy sticker in obey me mode. Indeed. Uh, we got we got a we got a support page as well. If you want to buy us some stuff, instead you can head over to linuxgamecast.com Click fact, that support button. It's this. been re yeah, it's been reformatted. It's all there, man. Recurring yeah. donations, one time Amazon wishlist, merch store, Amazon storefront, humble affiliate. But you know what? None of that matters. We want you to watch the show, share the show. Thank you for making the show possible, each and every one of you. And however, which way you can. All the Amazon wish lists. We got one for Pedro, one for Jordan, one for Joe, one for the studio. You do one for the studio, you end up back here next to Frank. You know him, you love him on our fine upstanding cannibal wall, which has one errant lead, which makes this thing look like it's cutting on and off, but it's not because <laughs> the camera just doesn't pick it up correctly. Mm. Yeah, wow. no, speaking of wish lists, I do need to thank uh, Dancing Joe, uh, gifted me Evil West. Thank you. Mm. Thank you very much. That was uh, on my wish list. And I've I. 
I started playing it. Uh-huh. It is a fun game. Uh-huh. It is. Uh, I just. I'm just sitting here being jelly the entire time too because that was on my wish list. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. It was the controls that my brain just kind of went. Wait, what? No, that doesn't make. Uh, that's what you're doing. So it's going to take me some while to wrap my brain around the uh, the control scheme because it's different. It's I've, different. It's reminded me of a neutral that, that is, It looks like Devil May Yeehaw. Yes, mm, yeah. it is very much uh, like Devil May Cry, Bayonetta, that style of uh, yeah. move to a place, an arena, kill all the monsters, move to the next arena, kill all the monsters. Yeah, It's about vampires. <laughs> no way mm-hmm. Abraham Lincoln, unfortunately. There might be some Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Abraham Lincoln is the final <laughs> boss. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, let, let's, let's get into the news. And... Sh- absolutely shocking no one nvidia they don't like it when uh bo- their board partners they go and they uh sleep around with other chip manufacturers NVIDIA's and make some like different the, gpus it's like the mafia of the tech industry and in pretty much anything shady you could ever say about nvidia somebody's like hmm? mm-hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. So, so uh so the sc- <laughs> scuttlebutt from uh this russian website uh pro high tech uh they're saying that uh Nvidia is putting pressure on their add-in board partners. They're saying that we're going to, they're going to deny support and chips to any companies that are going to be manufacturing Intel GPUs. So the official, so as as the article bring, brought up a couple of years ago, there was a, there was a program via Nvidia called the Nvidia Partner Program, mm-hmm. which basically stated if you want to be a partner with Nvidia, you have to have like exclusive brands with us. You can't like have a, a different uh, vendor's card under the same name, et cetera, et cetera. So that's dead. Long live the unofficial NVIDIA partner program, which is now just completely under the table, apparently. But yeah, this is this is all scuttlebutt and rumors. But uh, we, we were talking about the pre-pre super shows and like, this is absolutely believable because NVIDIA has done this before multiple times. Yep. It, it, were I in a position of any of the board partners, I would be going, yeah, let's let's Intel's just joined the game. Let's ask them if they have some GPUs they can send our way and we'll put it into some fancy graphics cards. Yeah, no, it, they've been actively hostile and video has been actively host actively, actively, uh, active, <laughs> actively hostile sure to uh, their board partners to the point where EVGA just said no, but EVGA has other problems going on right now. Uh, and yeah, like I can imagine the process of shutting down. Yeah, the the the, uh, the BIOS people, the entire team just walked out. <laughs> yeah, the, um, the EVGA folks. Oh boy, yeah, yeah, that was that was random. Yeah, no, that that kind of came out of nowhere. But yeah, no, people I can imagine say that, that. Then I, I like raise my hand and like everyone go back and watch the Gamers Nexus video from yesterday, where he's like, "Yeah, I've known about this for months. It was even mm-hmm. in a previous video that none of you fuckheads paid attention to either." But continue speculating. Like, yes. <laughs> Kingpin pretty much said there is no next project. So yeah, uh, and yeah. So no, did I, everybody on the uh, embedded bios team. Mm-hmm. Like, there's there he is, William. There's the fucking Bobby. <laughs> hey, listen, don't you dare! You better eat that. It disappeared into the darkness. Peter just takes like a hard right cross out of the chair. <laughs> yeah, no, there's, just, there's just like a moth fist that just like comes off screen. <laughs> but yes, back to Intel. I can imagine that they're uh, very happy to have a bunch of board partners and they don't have to basically handle as much of the distribution and everything that goes into actually putting the video cards out if they have the board partners Dude, to do Intel that. Intel is just at the point of like, <laughs> we want some people to make our shit. Yeah, yes. <laughs> that's we, it. We, we, got some, we got some cool chips uh, that, that, that we would like people to buy. <laughs> with, with, some, with someone who is not Acer, please make some. I mean, Acer like, did them a solid. Acer's like, we could probably make a GPU. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we got some spare fans lying around. Sure. Um, mm-hmm. So, I mean. Mismatched yeah. fans, but still. <laughs> to what's been brought up. 100%, 100% rumor, 100% rumor, nothing to verify this, but everybody who's ever heard anything about NVIDIA is like, yeah, I mean, I'd be surprised if that wasn't what they were up to. And, you know, if they've done this equal stuff in the past, they have very rigid things in place currently right now. They have pricing restrictions for the AIB partners. They're like, you cannot sell this for below whatever. And they they, they were limiting stock for a while too. Mm-hmm. Or Yeah, this is like what you got to think about. Like if you violate these rules you don't get good shipments on the next set Mm -hmm. of gpus and Mm -hmm. silicon coming out 
things like you don't see anymore, like dual GPU cards, you know, the crazier, wilder stuff, because NVIDIA is like, we're doing that. Can't do that anymore. You, you got to like stick within this spec for a reference design or you don't get shipments next time. And like, that's kind of killed some of the fun with the GPU market. You know, we used to have some like crazy designs. Don't see that these days. However, you know what? Um, pressuring like the MSIs and the ASUSs to not ship Battle Mage, all leverages on Intel shipping Battle Mage. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Which I hope they do. Come on, we, Intel. We, we, all, we, all, we all do. We're all rooting. <laughs> you know, we're, we're in the second half of this game called 2023 right now. I'm like, <laughs> hey, Intel, poke, poke, poke. Make an announcement. Do something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you, you, got, you got something good? Got, like, got any more of those uh, video cards? Well, there were rumors, you know, even where this came from. Like, you know, when Intel's like shopping around, like we, we would like, we've proven that we can ship product for this. And I was like, we well, also need to prove that you're going to keep stuff around, which I could imagine, you know, if I'm an MSI and they're like, hey, we'd like you to do a battle mage. And like, didn't you just quit manufacturing the 770 LA? Did well, that, that was you guys? They're, they're, they're just making, they stopped making the cards. They're still making the ships mm -hmm. available. You can still. Oh, that's exactly what I'm saying, Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, didn't you just uh, nix your flagship product? That was like <laughs> the one that's supposed to stick out above all that one. That one you, you're not going to make that anymore. Great show of confidence there, Intel. Because um, <laughs> typically like your Halo product sticks around longer than like nine months. Just um, saying. Todd, Todd Howard seems to agree. Dude. Uh. And the last scuttlebutt I was listening to, um, Moore's Law is it not dead, I think. No, mm -hmm. Moore's Law is not dead. Yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's the guy. And it looks like they're going to be dialing back according to the leaks, you know, the gossip. Oh, come here, girlfriend. Let's let's talk about this. Uh, even Intel is, according to the leaks, is dialing back. Initially, it was supposed to be, like, it was going to come out and just, like, fight with the 4090 and, like, be the thing. Now... They're shooting for something like sort of kind of maybe 4080 is performance. So that's going to put us like squarely like into the 4070 performance. And if they can deliver that, that's a perfectly uh, suitable goal to have. At what yes. price, Pedro Mateus? Because it's, if they can deliver it for 999. <laughs> as long as it's not yeah, 599. <laughs> maybe 499 or 997. 399. <laughs> Three ninety nine would, would be I, ideal. Dude, I, that yeah. that would get a lot of people very happy. Or, or like even even something like a six hundred dollar card. That would be like, dude. Uh, this is this is what I really because if we could get something that was even a forty forty seven ATI equivalent for three ninety nine that had sixteen twenty four gigs of video memory RAM on it, keep printing them and good luck trying to keep up with the demand for that. Because mm -hmm. Battle Mage even go to the new architecture. Drivers have matured. These things are starting there's, there's to code be usable. Yeah. yeah, they actually yeah. know what they're doing with the drivers now. <laughs> there, there, there are games that have consumed Intel driver code, so now they work. Intel has stopped trying to invent their own D9VK and just just using actual D9VK and now. They're going back and fixing things, man. They just had like a, uh, like a ninety percent performance bump in Assassin's Creed Two. Yeah, I, that was like one of their highlights in their latest drivers. Like, huh. uh, it was three hundred percent for Unity. Uh, for Unity. Yeah, yeah. three hundred percent mm -hmm. uh, performance gain on Assassin's Creed Unity. <laughs> but then again, like three hundred percent. What was it originally? Four. Four. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it didn't work very well. In the mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I mean, you, you've said it before. The 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 joke about like AMD cards getting faster every year yeah. now gets applied to Intel. That was never a joke. <laughs> that was that was reality for amd cards for a long time man you could buy an amd card and it would the performance would improve as the open source developers not in amd by any yes. stretch they wouldn't sully yeah. their hands with the linux drivers <laughs> um but the open yeah. source community and the amd cards get faster intel we're, i i still don't have an arc maybe one day i'll find one are you going to get one of those like A32 Pros? Does that, does that appeal to you? No, I want one that uh, any type of testing, like the maybe the uh, the Acer one, uh, because mm, the, I, I want something that I can actually yeah test not just for gaming but for uh, content production. Oh no, no, the the the, the A30 oh, Pro of, was those uh, aren't content. even. Yeah, those, those yeah, are the, like those would be interesting in content production if I had three of them, mm. not one. 
<laughs> like that wouldn't it was like hey yeah this is like the super short bus version but like there, there's there's not there's not enough like gpu on there you, not to well they're not even designed to be used as one i mean you can like mm-hmm. they they're compute they're designed for yeah. putting a stack of them in a pc so it wouldn't be a very good usable metric just to use one mm-hmm. is what i'm trying to get across there you go so make of that what you will write in if you get your thoughts like what's really going on behind the scenes especially if you work at intel be like, yo, man, let me tell you about this battle mage. Yeah, we get, we get, get video interview of like a man in a blue sock. Like, no, I, 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 I want no, sock, bu- sock puppet. Poorly <laughs> made sock puppet. I will disguise your voice. All you have to do is this. <laughs> and I'll blur it too. I'll pixelate yeah. it. And then do, do the voice masking. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It'll be brilliant. Um, <laughs> and we only kind of sort of need to believe that you work for Intel for us to accept this. Yeah. <laughs> well, spe- spe- speaking of, uh, well, I guess not integrated graphics. This now we're talking about integrated graphics. Pedro, tell us about yes. the Neo Kun. Pedro Kun. The Aya Neo uh, has a new version. Yeah, last week we talked about the um, GPD Win Four, the new revision that comes with the seven thousand um, Ryzen, and this week we have the Aya Neo Kun, which is a Kun eight point four inch. Naughty. <laughs> Neo Chen, Neo Senpai. Yeah, like, I am Neo Why? Why are you taking your pants off? Uh, <laughs> oh no, step ladder. I'm st- I'm stuck in the washing machine. Oh no, help! <laughs> yeah, it's uh, there's been a couple of updates to the article already, but the thing that jumped out at me was oh, the, there's some trackpads under the um the it, analog sticks. Dual. They're going all deck like. All right, no, okay. uh, man. The, see, the, these things are circles, man. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, so, so they're not square the, the steam they're controller just regular were areolas. circles too <laughs> circles but yeah no the mm, the, the big thing circles. came um <laughs> i saw this on uh on lilla pudding because it's a website that i go to regularly since netbooks were a thing because that's when it started and i didn't even notice that the url was three lines long <laughs> Dude. And then just pasted it into the show notes. It's like, oh, so the URL from Lily Pudding is the big one. Okay. It, it goes places, <laughs> man. Uh, you know, you expect this, the URL to start out with a once was a hobbit. Um, yeah. yeah. It, it, it's a chunk. It, it's a big chunk of a URL. But I, I, Let, I'm looking forward to the Aya Neo one because just because I really like the handheld form factor. The Steam Deck is really nice. And I still want one of the. Um, the win 600s from Ember Deck, but the it's good to have more and more competition. <laughs> it's good to have turbo fin. Well, it, 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 it's good to have like some more people taking some cracks at this hardware. The mm-hmm. the uh, the big thing here is the uh, the bat the you're having like a much larger battery. They're saying that the unit's going to weigh about two pounds total. Jordan, wait, you need this. These things run Windows. Windows doesn't know how to hibernate. Isn't this, this <laughs> weird ass bizarro world we're living in right now? Right, w- w- Windows isn't good at power efficiency. No, uh, not compared it's, to it, that it, Steam Deck <laughs> running that hacker operating system. Yeah, yeah. So so re- really, really here, the if you're going to buy one of these, no toothpick arms. You got to start doing some bicep curl or something so that you can pick this thing up and hold it in front of you for a while with that 75 75 watt hour battery you better also 8.4 inch display which i personally think you know eight inches like imagine an eight inch display um Mm -hmm. might be just a wee it's a hair on the large side for something that i'd want to hold my hands yeah the, (laughs) the the steam deck proportions are actually like really good all things considered yeah, ergonomically uh, speaking, it's yeah. fairly comfortable to play I'm with. I'm thinking in like at 8.5, I'm like, fuck it, let's do 10. <laughs> we, yeah, we, we, no, again, we, we, we just need like the trigger happy TV giant fucking, yeah, <laughs> N- Nintendo the Switch. The 21 inch. Oh, oh yeah. dude, here's the let's thing though. Let's do the 21 here's, inch. Here's, here's the brilliant thing, man. With a 20, 22 inch ultra wide, it's got a little slot in the bottom that you can like the old doors where you can slide <laughs> it open so you can see, so you can play it on the go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or it has like a little periscope or something so you can like keep an eye on stuff. I don't know where I'm at with that because uh, 8.4 inches is uh, that's a chunky screen. Again, battery too. It's got a big chunky battery, but it needs it. Um, it's, it so it's it's also kind of rounded too. So again, I, w- I I would be curious to actually like get my hands on this thing and see how it feels. Um, because because like because like the the, the U shape seemed kind of weird with the Steam Deck at first, but like it really does work when you hold on to it. 
Mm -hmm. uh, although, although ba balancing is a little tricky, you got to make sure that that thing is planted squarely on whatever you put it on. In the middle, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we say this each and every time we talk about a Steam Deck competitor. Valve just released the damn Steam OS. Come on. <laughs> Everyone's waiting. <laughs> right. I mean, it's going to make all of us happy. Then we can convert these questionable Windows devices into actual ga proper gaming machines. Hi, mm -hmm. welcome right. again to our strange, bizarre <laughs> world. Who had an Amiga? Mm -hmm. Too young. And my dad had a C64. <laughs> mm. I never had an Amiga. My mom had an Amiga. She had an Amiga 4K for work. But it didn't even, like, when you think of Amigas, you're thinking of, like, of Amiga 900. I never had, like, one of the little cool, like, hobbyist PCs. This thing like a regular PC. But everyone loves Amigas who are into retro computing. Because if I don't say that, they'll show up at my house and try to cut me. They'll bite me. <laughs> Step on my toes. So when I saw an Amiga project, I said to myself, all right, let's talk about it. It'll be fun content. So I went and downloaded this. We're talking about Amiga Live, a front-end application that utilizes, this is what got my attention, NetPlay. That's right. Mm -hmm. So two or more people from around the world, we can connect and play the same game, same software, no problem. I'm like, how hard is this going to be to set up? Wait, there's a Linux version? Yes, there okay. is. Out of the box, this thing is all kinds of slick. All kinds of slick. You just download it. It's got self-contained applications. It's got a drop-down games list. I was like, man, I'm going to have to go buy some Amiga ROMs from the Amiga store. <laughs> I'm like, nah, fam, we got you. You do that, select that, picked up the gamepad right out of the box, and just like, hey, do you want to start a server? Do you want to look for people to play with? Whatever, go for it. And... I was just impressed. I tried out uh, Street Fighter 2 and uh, Mortal Kombat 2, which are fucking hilarious to play with a two-button Amiga joystick <laughs> being emulated on a gamepad. Horrible experiences. And then I tried something that was one of the, the pack-in game for my Mega Drive, Altered Beast. That's right. I'm going to tell you, arise from your grave, which it didn't fucking say. <laughs> Therefore, port's invalid. <laughs> Get out of here. It was really a horrible port. Um, most of the games uh, support two button game pads. So uh, it's as terabad as you might have remembered if you've ever played around with a joystick. I want the NES version of this because there, there's so many like NES games that uh, have um, simultaneous uh, multiplayer, but it's all local that I like to play over the net. Yeah. Easily, yeah. easily before. Stop typing. I know. Yeah. I well, know. I'm <laughs> there, this is this isn't so much like a pick up and play thing either, um, because uh, if you, if you want to set up like an online multiplayer game, you do need to have someone ready because like you can set up the room and then someone else needs to connect. Yeah, to it, it's kind of like getting a regular multiplayer game on a modern system. I guess where but you like know some, the other person needs to be ready. Some games you can just drop in though. <laughs> oh, oh, this is like yeah, throw it out, man! I can't yeah. join a game in progress. Fuck this thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. But, uh, as it turns out, games from the '90s don't have uh, pre-baked lobbies. Nope, <laughs> they, they, they don't. And th 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 this is kind of hacking around. This this is using the uh, the netplay stuff from the Amiga emulator. I will say, I, I played around with this a little bit too. Gauntlet Three Final Quest has a fucking sick soundtrack, by the way. I had never heard it before, uh, but it launched and it sounded good. Um, yeah, and like like Ben said, it's all in a drop down. Although I do wish you had the ability to search that list because if you're unless you know exactly what you're looking for, or even if you know exactly what you're looking for, you got to scroll quite a bit to get to it. Barbarian, barbarian. Yeah, no, no I this... want something like this, but for all of like the pre six gen consoles, like the the PS two and below era. There it is. I want... uh, if you're watching the video version, that, that this is what it looks like under Linux too. You get a little thing. You pick your mm -hmm. server region, put the mm -hmm. port joysticks, select how many awesome keyboard layouts that are available. You click start game. It's got options for video sync, full screen. It's got built-in chat, team speaks in there. I mean, it's slick. Yeah. Uh, and they got a pretty active uh, community on Discord too for like people who are actually like wanting to play Amiga games with randos on the internet. So if you are one of those people. Those are where your people are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what what classic gen? Uh, what what would be one game if you could pick uh, from any system that you would like to have instantly available online multiplayer for Jordan on a PC? Oh, that's a tough one. There's a bunch. 
What, what did you get the most mileage of back in the day? Well, that's that's the thing. I I didn't I didn't get any mileage out of multiplayer games because I didn't have friends. Mm. So so it, it would be like, what what are what are some games that have multiplayer that I didn't get a chance to play with people that I do want to play with them now? So, a, dude, NES Battletoads. That, yeah, so some some of the some of the NES stuff for sure. Some or like fuck Pedro Nintendo stuff. for making that face when I said Battletoads, man. You, you can just watch. <laughs> Um, I, you know, um, variety is the spice of life, but no. <laughs> yes, we're gonna play no, Pedro. Oh, Pedro's oh. favorite. Multi- we'll play Monopoly, Pedro. Don't worry. Duck Hunt. <laughs> Duck Hunt. A Sega Rally. I was a Sega boy, and I got a lot of okay Sega Rally head to head. No 3D games. No 3D Saturday. games are valid in this. No 3D games are valid. We got to do it. nothing. Nothing after the Mega Drive. Nothing after the SNES. Nothing after the Mega Drive or the SNES. Um, I mean, <laughs> yeah, Super Space Golden Invaders. D- oh, uh, Double Dragon. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's a good one. Go, uh, go, Golden Axe. That would be that would be dope. Golden Axe would be fun. Mm-hmm. I keep for whatever reason my brain wants. See, I want four four player. I want a ROM hack for the original Turtles for the NES. Mm, yeah, for four players, or like like the like the arcade version. Yeah, yeah. I guess we could I, actually maybe just the arcade version of Turtles, right? Oh, is there online multiplayer? Can we set up? Oh, dude, see, we're going down for, this for bullshit main? rabbit home in Maine, yeah. right? And it was like yeah. six <laughs> months later. Yay, we got it to connect. Koosh. <laughs> it's not as crazy as trying to get zero AD up and running on the latest and greatest of risky technology. Imagine a world where you can play your games on non x86 systems. I can imagine well, a world. Look, this video already starts out and it's brilliant. Yeah, look at look at this shit. Uh, it, it's point point your camera at a screen. Uh, Neo, gotta run the Neo Fetch so that oh, we can see that it's running yes. on the Risk sixty four. By the way, this, yep, this is on the uh, this is on the Milky Five board. By the way, which I looked up has sixty four cores at two gigahertz and can support up to one hundred twenty eight gigabytes of RAM. Is how that, many? Is that from how, like how Homelander's this, side business? Right? How how much RAM does this have? Doesn't I can't see it in the uh, in the video? Oh shit! Yeah. Well, head, heads up, and I'll look next time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, th- this is a sixty-four core machine. Was it uh, uptime GPU memory? memory? Thirteen. So one gig, one point three, one three five two megabits. That, that, that's that's, that's used twelve to- gigs. Total, 12, <laughs> twelve gigs. Okay. One the, two. The, wait. Yeah. Twelve. Wait. 12, yeah. Okay. yeah the, <laughs> the, 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 so yeah. okay, so the the board uh, I'm asking because the board supports up to 128 gigs. Well, it might so be I'm 128 like, then. Okay, maybe yeah. that's where. God damn it! I gotta type this up. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's, One, it's, it's also, two, eight, 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 three. It's also okay, running so three a, eights. Uh, okay, so it's also it has 128 uh, gigs. 28 right, gigs okay. of RAM. God yeah. damn! <laughs> no, I want one even more. Right, and it's also it's also running an RX uh, 460 for the video output. But yeah, no, it's 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 running, which is pretty cool. It wasn't doing that before. The patches are in. I do wonder though how it runs on a much more modest board because like the the FX people were using that Vision board, and that only has two cores and like eight gigs of RAM at max. So I'm curious. Like this is this is a this is a pretty chunky machine. So that's it's a lot of horsepower to throw at zero AD. I, I really wish it was like two cores and only 64 gigs of RAM. <laughs> right. <laughs> So I could afford it, yeah, right. Mm. I mean, I, that I mean, would be nice. You know, things are moving. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, the, they didn't just get zero AD running; they also got uh, Super Tech Scout running. So Is there a link clearly, to uh, that there's a link to the. Okay. Uh, we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna, let's go. <laughs> Come on, copy and pasta. Copy and pasta. <laughs> on Milky V. Let's see. Let's, let's yep. see. Oh shit, that's running pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Or the transparent mm-hmm. with, uh, with the exact same machine with the RX 460, yep. <laughs> and we have an FPS 128 counter. gigs of RAM. I want to yep. see the H top on that though. That's 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 for real. Um, what's what's the what's the actual consumption going on? It's still cool, man. Oh, you know, it's 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 really cool. Again, again, like yeah. this is very early days of Risk Five, and we're now we're getting games running shit running on. I it, mean, right? it's the start. So. It's always going to be the open source titles that come <laughs> first, and that lifting is going to be done. People, open source your game engines, but people will do the work for you for free. Just mm-hmm, to, yeah. like, it's a new thing to play with. Fuck yes, yeah, Risk Five. Um, who's going to be the first one of the three of us to get Risk Five board? Ooh. I'm gonna I say mean, if we're going off of money, uh, you or Jordan, not me. 
if, if we're going off of like people buying random hardware for gits and shiggles, Pedro. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> see, see, this is it's going to transfer from like buying random laptops to buying random stick on things for your car. Like, I, I see where this well, is going. Well, no, no, so you, so you need to cram the Risk 5 Milky V into your car mm. so that you have 128 gigs to drive. <laughs> oh, man, can we do a GoFundMe to get Pedro one of those fart box mufflers? <laughs> yes. Really obnoxious. But I like uh, how quiet it is. I genuinely like how quiet oh, the hey. car is. Oh, hey. It just occurred to me, we did, that the guy outside your place with the fart box muffler isn't like, out tonight. It could be like besties. <laughs> Maybe he's on his way. He's already yeah, loaded up. He's, 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 he's running late. He's like, no, I gotta make it in time. <laughs> he's heading to Cambridge, man. <laughs> he threw his car on already, a boat. One of my neighbors somewhere around these blocks has a fart box. It's it's a four focus and it has this weird orange and gray pattern to it. Mm. But yeah, no, he's got a fart box for an exhaust. And for my fellow <laughs> automobile enthusiasts, here's my only problem with that. It's not even the noise. It's like sometimes you'll hear something like, oh, that sounds interesting. And it's going to be like a fucking Ford Focus coming like, oh, come on. Why did I mm-hmm. turn my head for that? No one cares. <laughs> yeah. I want to see a Mustang or like or a cool. Something, yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, but cool, you do you. Unless it's like super loud and if I can hear it from a mile away, then, then we got problems. All right. All right. Coming up next, Strider doesn't know what a Dreamcast game looks like. Oh, and we talk Duncan about Jordan's fog. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we uh, we talk about streaming on Kip. Yeah. Again. Again. Well, it should be entirely obvious that the end is upon us once more. Yes. Uh, not really. I could fuck up and like leave the recording like I did one time. Somebody thought it was like an extra hour of the show, and I'm like, oops, <laughs> just an extra hour of complete it's like, nonsense. Oh, it's that's like the, hidden the track reason at the end of an album, or like oh. that. <laughs> Explain that to kids, right? right? <laughs> they don't know yeah. what's a CD even. <laughs> but yeah, no, the next podcast will be coming along shortly. Don't you worry. Your playlist will continue, but. uh Right now, we need to get into some hate mail. And if we said something that really got your pennies in a twist, proverbially speaking. Clacker. Or Clacking. L- l- claggy. 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 <laughs> yes, tell us what claggy means where you are. To you. The <laughs> 500 words or less. I am prepared the best to read way to yeah, do just, that. That's how you got to send it. Yeah, the, the best way to do that, you go to, to our contact page, just push the contact button on linuxgamecast.com. And uh, the form is at the bottom. There's some caveats you should read at the top. If you don't, and your thing doesn't come through, that's on you. But yes, tell us Press how you feel about button. clagginess in general. <laughs> See? <All right. laughs> easy, easy, easy. <laughs> so we, uh, I, I, I got up. Uh, no, I just up, but just opened Discord, and it was uh, where I'd left off the previous night was Jordan dunking on somebody in discord <laughs> uh, I, I don't always do that i i, I, I occasionally mean, literally it went boom shakalaka and i'm like what the fuck why why is discord making noise I, like I, I i i i believe i believe the, the exact verbiage was suck it strider um <laughs> the, 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 this this is regarding strikers uh this is from reality jump 5760 and says thanks for featuring the game strikers is actually a dreamcast game which is going to be released on the physical disc simultaneously with the linux and windows steam versions so you were right that it looks like it's from that period it's the first on- ever online dreamcast indie game and it supports crossplay with all systems smiley face we'll upload a video soon promise yeah that's the thing i pointed out because they had the store page against valve's rules that you gotta have a trailer of some description so yeah no very good that's very good <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to pull up the uh just for people who don't want to go back and look at it what was it uh what was it called we have rocket league at home yes <laughs> driving strikers and do we have a video yet no <laughs> no video yes Boom. soon <laughs> you you promise <laughs> let us know when it's actually done yeah i mean it really does look like it's from that era you know like yep. really mm-hmm. uh unreal P- P- or, ps2 or like, dreamcast yeah yeah dreamcast and we we were talking i think in the pre-show or maybe right when we started going live come check us out twitch.tv forward slash linux um the Online multiplayer is, in fact, Jordan, or which one of you confirmed that? It's cross-platform. Pedro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Between <laughs> that's, PC. That, 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 that's what he says right there on the hate mail. So, all right, let's 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 go some, for some cross-play. 
which is <laughs> amazing because I want to play this against somebody on real hardware. On a real Dreamcast. Yeah, that would be that would be pretty cool. But they get to be using the dial-up connector, not the broadband adapter. Mm. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Oh, can you get a... Hmm. Hmm. How I would think you... you can get dial-up modems, yes. Uh, you, oh, you USB dial-up modems. <laughs> dial-up oh. to dial-up. Dial-up to AOL. And... I, I, listen, I, 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 got, I, I just want to see it happen. <laughs> Thanks for writing in. If we ever talk about your game, whatever you're listening to the show, feel free to just come in. Pop on the show if you ever get a chance. Holler yeah, if you, want, if you want to talk about the perils of developing for both Linux and Dreamcast. We will talk your ear off. Um, Kick's not done because, damn it, we bring up Kick, and every time we bring up <laughs> Three Kick, weeks in a row. <laughs> somebody's like, I have a thought and opinion on Kick. And better run, better run. SCD actually left us a comment on um, Odyssey. Library, oh, all right. Harry owns it. <laughs> about Kick, he's like, "Hey, man, I stream on both Kick and Twitch. No one may be on Kick, but you've got to start somewhere, right?" Question mark. This is the whole AMD versus Nvidia thing. Is well, we don't use Kick, but we want Kick to succeed, so Twitch will treat us better. Just get on both. It doesn't cost you anything. Restream allows streaming to both and for free, and I, I'm sure Streamyard does the same thing. Well, the Brad. NVIDIA VAMD thing? Are, are you sure that's the... Uh, I, I think it's more of like an comparison Intel, you versus AM, <laughs> or Intel versus NVIDIA thing, maybe? Would be more of a, more of a comparison? Or like Matrox versus <laughs> NVIDIA? Because do you buy a, an AMD card I, I'm, I'm so that you. daddy I, NVIDIA I, loves you better? Because I, I'm now in the you've audience gone with every one of you going, that's what you're fucking picking on about? All right, go for it. <laughs> Get those claws out, kitty. <laughs> I, just, I mean, it, it, it's kick. I, I, I haven't even opened the website. So. Pedro, Pedro, we got to stream to both. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's easy enough to do. The uh, Nginx RTMP thing was like dirt easy to set up. Yeah, we sat uh, one evening and uh, got that hammered out. Yeah. Like, that was a piece of cake. Um, here's the problem, though, Brad. Here's the problem. We can't. Oh, yeah. No, uh, Twitch will um, stop paying us money. <laughs> Twitch affiliate. You're not allowed to do it. And we used to do it. We used to stream to Twitch. We used to stream to YouTube. And we didn't use a third party to stream for us. Come on, peasant. Server's easy enough. Set up. That was kind of fun figuring out that because we were trying to do transcoding on that one core droplet or whatever. Right. Well, was. yeah. The, the 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 functional example had transcoding, and it's like, oh, you can just like pass that right through. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. 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 Well, AV copy. And it's like, boom. Hey, everything started working. We're like, neat. And we annoyed the hell out of everybody on Twitch because there was no way to like put it in a unlisted mode. So we had like ah, nineteen yes. streams going on like in one <laughs> evening. <laughs> that was fun. Um. Yeah. Just. Whatever. I mean, in a perfect world, you'd be able to stream to everything, but uh, we can't. I'm glad you can. And like, I like you do want Kick to succeed, and you do want it to do that. So, because everybody gets treated better, people on Kick get treated better. People on YouTube, like competition and the streaming. But we've seen what Twitch has become, hanging out all by itself all this time. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, there there needs to be some competition in some way, shape, or form. And if if Kick is that. I, I I mean, hopefully, hopefully they don't transform into something equally like shitty and predatory, because like oh, well, it will eventually happen. Yeah. But then the other thing needs to, you know, it's the it's the circle of bullshit, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. in, yes, yeah, the circle in, in of business bullshit on the internet. You always need that <laughs> next thing to show up, and we've all, you know, we've seen too many other services, be it whatever. Like once it get in gets entrenched, and the next thing doesn't show up in a timely manner, you're like fuck. Maybe Facebook will relaunch Mixer. We'll, we'll get we'll get Facebook Gaming back. <laughs> Apparently, they're just like dusting off old shit now and starting it up. So I, I really like. Uh, there was some articles like week or last week or week before. People were like Windows 11 is going to have a subscription service where you can just stream it, and I'm like, yes, that's why they bought Mixer. It was an aqua hire. How many times do I need to say that? I said that when they bought it. Like, if you know how to stream games, streaming a fucking desktop's pretty goddamn easy. 
<laughs> That's a fraction of the bit rate that you need. <laughs> right. You know, even with like latency, what's your latency requirement for a cursor to move? Oh, man. As well, long that, as it's well, constant. A drag and drop. <laughs> but somehow Windows Remote Desktop will still be shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Somehow. It's still Windows. <laughs> But, but then we can like see how many we can nest the nest and go all that shit and like open oh, that yeah. up and stream inside of that and open that up <laughs> until it eventually goes in. And we, of course, we're all going to do this on an Android phone running uh, Windows 95 yeah. VM. In, in DOSBox, yeah. Yes. All right. Hey, everyone. We got to go on that bombshell, on that nested bombshell. You can always get in touch with me. I'm hanging out on our uh, Twitter thing. It's still around. If you won't have to pay for it this week, maybe next week. <laughs> Um, I'm Vin Stone at Twitter. Mastodon, we're hanging out. We get our federated thing, mast.linuxgamecast.com. You can find all of us on there, including myself. I'm just at Vin, posting, doing the things, and I'm in Discord. I'm in the IRC. You can have Vin there, and I'll show up. Be like, the fuck you want? I mean, hello. I'm sorry. Those keys are right next to each other on the keyboard. Hot camera. I'm Jordan, your Matrushka man. You can find me on Mastodon at Frojo at mast.linuxgamecast.com, Twitter at the Burning Fool, or twitch.tv slash Burning Fool. And I suppose you can find me on Mastodon as well. I did poke my head in this week. <laughs> Pedro did this. Do I remember the password for this thing? Yes. <laughs> it's like I saw it I saw like a bunch of people actively posting things. So I was like, I'll be back. So, yeah, I, I may very well end up going back. It's uh, unaccounted for with the actual number four at the end uh, at mass.linuxgamecast.com, but I'm still on Twitter at unaccounted F-O-U-R there. So, yeah, shout at me. I'll shout right back at you. And just remember, <laughs> we don't want everybody to, like, refresh their um, Mastodon page at the same time. It might be down the server. No, <laughs> also, watch out. Don't use up all your thousand tweets. Yes. Time for some credits. <laughs> Docker and a Linux VM on macOS? Yeah. I mean, that that that's, is just how Docker on macOS works. Nested applications. That's, that's yes. just your standard <laughs> true docking. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> uh, well, we got uh, we to gotta thank the lovely, lovely advisors flying out into the sky. Omegas, Artharan, we got our executive producers. We got uh, Barbara, Scott Michaud, Atomic Ass, Mike G, Drummer, Pebble, Tomash, Hakim, Dave, and Eshep, and our little Nicky fans, Super Desto, Empty, Glorious Eggroll, Blast Mac. Us. <laughs> See, most, I, I was thinking about well, can we get like an AI voice sent to like do uh, like you know Steve Buscemi or some shit like that and have this read off like how horrible Steve it was. Steve Foster is Renault back in the Trudgy version to just nub and dark wing system. We need, we need like Microsoft Joe, Sam. Oki one and Cairo. I was thinking Cortana. Now that I can actually read. Death Nodes, Nova K, Basil, Chad, Romeo, Marson, they're far, far away. Doom to the so what? Steven B, Dirty Dean, now all that of hope, Shutter, so Piper, <laughs> and the Aromatic. God damn it, who sings that? Shut up, don't tell me. Um, <laughs> all of our uh, chairlings making the show possible. Find upstanding cannibals Carl, Mike, Arthur, and Linux Drew, Aldi, is Noctilus, John, E. Shep, Game of Tron, I can read them on the board behind me, but I'm not. You know it, DSN, Joe, Aromatic, Dev, and Kai. Sure. Thank you for picking up stuff at the studio. Till next week, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Dynafire. It was thank you again, by Dancing the way. Joe. <laughs> for getting Pedro the game on my wish list. <laughs> it was on my <laughs> wish list too. <laughs> <laughs> Five dudes.